this is um, one would say maybe a well deserved of a court CV, a needed yeah. court CV seat in the midst of what Abure have had to go through. But how are you talking about playing opposition without again consolidating the structures within your party? Some the uh, 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 Labour Party, Labour Party is of the obedient movement at the end of the day. So the obedient movement had issues with his leadership. Some issues were raised with Dancy Rider of uh, the uh, Comrade Dancy Rider of uh, the candidate in Bias State offices in election. Raised the alarm that stakeholders in the party at the state level took money from Doye Diri and all of that, you know, betrayed him. And that the, the former youth leader at Temple also made all kinds of accusations. So, don't you think that if we're going to look at a formidable position like Obi and Abu Said and Obi, uh, Abu Reze, you know, so chairing in right now, that they should start by ensuring that the structures within the Labour Party is properly consolidated. You know, um, on the issue of structure, you know, the response was that we are the structure. The obedient movement are the structure. But the, but, but the spokesperson for the Labour Party came out to, a fork came out to attack the Labour Party, the obedient movement and some other people for their opinion against Saburi. Saburi's leadership, maybe. The, the truth is, um, for a movement as big as the obedient movement, it has the capacity of consuming uh, protagonist himself and um, that's how movements are, are, are uniquely structured however um, with what this move that they made I think is a very beautiful one I had long expected it 35 legislators is a huge one 35 and um, uh, them coming together to uh, you know, align and then show some kind of solidarity with the party uh, structure is um, one that I think is uh, you know necessary because if 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 uh, they build that kind of cohesion and then in turn strengthen the party leadership because what they are doing too is somehow strengthening the party leadership. The visit to Abure uh, shows that shows any other person that. Abuja does not just have the party, but he has a large form of those elected under the party. And most times, what keep parties afloat are um, the number of seats they occupy, the amount of control they exert. If they are showing everybody that uh, our, our ally, allegiance is Abuja, you know, anybody that wants to sponsor any bill in the National Assembly to go as far as you know, um, not being Abuja, you know, not being him, because knowing that. He has the ability to talk to lawmakers and to the line and you know, so I think it this move is healthy for the Labour Party. Is uh, also healthy. It, it was even for lack of moves like this that has created the, the unnecessary division. Like the other man have to, I forgot his name. Yeah, the one that uh, took a bow after got to get into the presidency. Yeah, you know. so, I said, like, Oh, is this is this the Tunubu you were talking about? <laughs> I didn't know he was that you know, so so uh, we hope that um, this kind of cohesion will continue because once you have more elected members uh, into a political system, the political class, you, the more you become stronger, the more you start stretching out the structure, in quotes. You know, so I support this totally. I think it's even a good move. And I also think that um, the governors too, okay, even if they have just one governor, and other elected members at the state level, should also do this part, you know, a vote of confidence on the leadership, and then internally they can tackle whatever it is they need to um, sort out, and not an uh, outward display of uh, maybe division and all. All right, we'll keep, we'll keep bringing you all the details. So now, there's something that they said that I'll need you to quickly react to, that we're not leaving this party, we're not going anywhere. <laughs> Uh, when I when I saw that, I was just like, the first one that came to my mind, I ah, a politician. You know, it's easy to, to say, you know, I'm from Anambra, and we have this politician, uh, this, this senator representing me. He was uh, a member of uh, All Progressive Grand Alliance, and um, after some time, he moved to form a YPP. As a... Um if I he was in PDP, he moved to join Abga. From Abga, he moved to form a YPP. He won his senatorial seat on that YPP. You know, after so many things he has said, you know, I think at some point, uh, uh, recently, he, he now indicated that uh, YPP he created, he left the party he created. And there are so many, there are some persons that won election under that party. 
that he was um, spearheading leading, he left it to join the APC. Yeah. 